Hey everybody, it's Chris from the Droning Company here at Warren UAS from Warren Community College. We are in Washington, New Jersey. Warren UAS has an incredible offering as far as programs for drone pilots go. Whether you're somebody that's looking to get your Part 107 and get started as a commercial remote pilot in the US, or you're somebody that already has their Part 107 and you're trying to expand your offerings to do more with your drone technology, this is the place to be. I could sit here and talk to you about it all day. I'd rather show you, let's check it out. Warren County Community College was established in 1981 by the New Jersey State Board of Higher Education and the Warren County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Evolving since then from a college without walls to one of the leading community colleges in the state of New Jersey, one of Warren County Community College's most recent innovations is the implementation of the Warren UAS program. Warren UAS, whose motto is above and beyond, is geared towards the education of students interested in unmanned aviation and the application of drone technology. The program was founded and is currently overseen by Warren County Community College President Dr. Will Austin. Most of the time presidents don't get to spend time with students, but because I lead this department I do. So I meet most students in their first year. Uh, many will have a course with me. Often uh, I will teach the simulation course because in, as part of that course when we're not simulating we kind of go through everything in a degree, what students can expect from the workplace, and really what, what they're going to go through and what their experience is going to be like going through this program. And then the last thing I kind of do, I teach the capstone course. So they kind of get them on the first course and I get them on the last course. So we train them for AUVSI top level three certifications. But the great thing about the capstone course is they take on an individual project and I can kind of help guide through that. And it's always a real world project. Last year they went out to uh, an old prison uh, museum in Jim Thorpe and we did indoor and outdoor mapping of it, LIDAR, uh, RGB cameras, and they were able to create an entire model uh, for the curator of the museum that they will now have forever. So if anything happened in the museum, they can replace it exactly as we found it that very day, which was exciting. The other great thing about that is students either come up with a business plan or a resume to get a job, and then they meet with me and we do a lot of mock interviews, this kind of thing, because I'm really invested in making sure everybody who graduates from this program gets a really well-paying job in the industry. One of the most valuable facets of Warren UAS is its ability to provide students hands-on learning opportunities with unmanned technology. Adam Kyle is the teaching administrator for precision agriculture at Warren UAS and introduces students to one of the fastest growing verticals in the drone industry. We found Adam, he was an Embry-Riddle graduate. We were down there, we kind of co-mingle students and we train them. We found Adam there and we realized he's one of the best drone pilots coming out right now. And he came on board, went back to graduate school for us while he was working through a congressional earmark to put our agriculture program in. So now he has the advanced degrees. Um, he's teaching the students and what's really been fascinating is he comes at this and it's such a new industry He's literally teaching the agronomists of Rutgers University, which is a tier one research university How to study their their plant life their their research how to reevaluate it from an aerial drone perspective with multi-spectral cameras and all the students get part of that too so they're able to go to test farms they're able to go out and put it on real farms we don't do everything theoretical here we do everything practical and we backfill in the theory so the students really walk out and they're able to go to any employer yeah i've already done that i've done that several times oh and here's the theory behind it all oh and here's what we you would need to do next because this is the next thing we were going to do at the, at the joseph warren robotics research center they'll walk away with the ability to utilize uh, multi-spectral cameras uh, and work with different vegetation indices so if you're familiar with those i try to get them past the traditional NDVI and NDRE um, because those are solid but they're also kind of generic and I want them to focus more in on some more specific ones uh, like the, the uh, there's one that uh, gauges the amount of water in the area and everything like that that can be useful um, so I just want them to expand their horizons on that and I want them to be able to use all the systems that we have so I want them to become familiar with spraying drones like we have the T30 uh, we also have a uh, DJI T10 coming on the way we have we're fully approved from the FAA to fly these, um, and I want to be able to teach students that. I want to teach them how to properly collect multispectral data, uh, and then how to utilize a lot of the software that you would see in the field. 
And while many people believe that the terms UAV and drone refer only to aircraft, Warren UAS has embraced the many other types of unmanned systems, including SPOT, a canine-like quadpedal land drone used to map land and topography as well as navigate dangerous terrain, and even maritime drones used to collect data beneath the surface of bodies of water. Spearheading not only student learning via flight operations, but also the terrestrial and maritime drone programs is Peter Miller. Peter handles most of the infield operations for students looking to learn how to control unmanned systems to achieve the goals they have set within a given project. So one of the great things is Pete Miller is with us and he really does set up the entire fleet, arrange all these practical applications, make sure the students are doing real world projects for real clients and making sure the drones are all in order. He started as my first student here. Well, our program is constantly expanding. In the beginning, we started just with aircraft, but we continually are expanding, and um, one of our new areas is maritime. Maritime drones are very important, and it's a fast-growing sector of the industry. And um, as part of our remote sensing and photogrammetry class, we also introduce uh, maritime uh, ROVs. We have subsurface and surface vehicles. The students learn how these work. They learn how to program them and use them. And they learn what the underwater environment is like and what types of uh, issues are entailed in that and um, how, to, how to function in that environment. One of my favorite things about this program is we have a philosophy of hands-on work. We certainly work hard through all the academic and theoretical work, but it's very important for us to get students hands-on with the equipment in the field, doing real work and learning how to do it themselves. We instruct, we guide, we enable, and then we allow the students to do the work, to run the projects from beginning to end so that they fully understand the processes and feel comfortable as professionals in the field. And did we mention that things get hands-on at Warren UAS? There's no better example of hands-on learning than the UAV pitch just outside of Warren County Community College's main campus. Here is where we met Warren County Community College's Dean of Administration, Dennis Florentine, who took time to share with us the application of the pitch and how students and the college benefit from it. We put in a race course to give students a feel of how to fly in first-person view the racing drones, and we also do um, inst uh, instruction in, in flight, give them experience, because not only when you want your Part 107 commercial license, do you want to be able to pass the test, you also want to have the ability to fly a drone, which is what we do, which is part of the process that we do. We actually give you flight experience. We've got over 70 drones uh, in our inventory, so students get the experience of using many different kinds of drones um, during their college experience, whether they're going for a certificate or one of our degree programs. And one of, one of the courses we do as, as part of your degree program, your certificate program, it, it's, a, it's a photogrammetry class. And what we do is accident reconstruction. So we're able to um, simulate an accident um, and they learn to do exact measurements of skid marks so, so people can, uh, law enforcement can, can really uh, understand the nature of the accident, why it happened, what caused it. We have a mobile command, sta mobile command uh, station where we're uh, certified to do BIVLOS, which is beyond visual line of sight. Um, so we take that, we've had that um, command center down in uh, Florida. Uh, we work closely with Embry-Riddle, uh, with their students. We, get, we take our Centero down there and we can actually fly that. Uh, the, the purpose of it is you fly that, uh, your drone out of, uh, out of visual line of sight and you're able to monitor it uh, within the mobile command center. Our program has really grown over the last, over the last four years. It's, it's, been, it's been exciting to see um, people come through the program and actually get well-paying jobs. We have, a, we have a pipeline with New Jersey Transit Authority. They come in, they take our students, put them in internship programs, they end up working for them full-time. We have uh, power companies come out looking, looking for our drone pilots. Uh, we have a national reputation of a, of a really solid program here and it's recognized all over the country. Uh, people come here from all over the country looking for our students because of, the, because of the way they're trained and the education they get. Of course, with such a prime opportunity at our disposal, the droning company had to hit the FPV course and see just how much fun it could be.
During our test run of the Warren County Community College FPV course, we were shown the ropes by a Warren UAS student named Tristan, who masterfully navigated the course with a DJI Avada. After watching Tristan run the gamut of obstacles on the course, we had the chance to speak with him and get an inside look at Warren UAS from the student's perspective. My favorite thing about this program is that it's all mostly hands-on. And that is my favorite thing about learning because I can't just sit in a classroom, stare at a professor and have him write something on the board, me take notes. It's boring. I, I can't pay attention to that. But when I'm actually working on something like working on a drone, um, whether it's the wiring components or actually just taking apart the, apart the arms, it's just it's something that actually interests me. I feel like I'm learning a lot more when I'm doing it that way. Uh, another great thing about this program is everyone here is all the uh, professors and all the teachers are just trying to help you learn and they're really, really helpful. They just want to see you succeed, honestly. And that's the greatest part, in my opinion. While Tristan provided us valuable perspective from somebody just beginning their journey at Warren UAS, the question did come to mind. What comes after somebody learns how to use drones? Warren UAS doesn't just educate their students and the larger community on drones, they foster and support growth, innovation, and the scaling of UAV-driven businesses. Tracer Drone Technologies is a testament to those efforts, as the budding UAV tech company is currently utilizing Warren UAS's business incubator to get their operation off the ground. Yeah, so the business incubator here is phenomenal. We have a drone company in there right now, Tracer Drones. That's a great place right, at, right here in the same building for our students to meet. Our great students can kind of go over there and they can begin working and earning a living of some kind before they even graduate. So there's, a, so there's that opportunity. The incubator, that we have the robotics accelerator right there. And the nice thing about the incubator is if a client comes in there and they, and they wanna be in the incubator, they can also use all of the equipment. They can get the training. We'll help them with business plans. This is all what happens in an incubator. What most people don't realize about a business incubator though is you can come in for a short period of time, three to five years, and then like a student, we want to graduate you and put you out into society where you become a business in the rest. And people say, well, what's the benefit of that? You're going to throw me out. Well, here's the benefit. You don't have to pay uh, your share of property taxes and you don't have to pay in this incubator. You don't have to pay for power and you don't have to pay for the Internet. So we're able to do that because your business becomes our student. So we're able to give you basically what is normally known as a triple net lease. You pay the, the rent, the taxes and um, uh, any kind of power, energy, whatever it is, your utilities. What I like to say is our incubator is a single net. You just pay the rent, and then the rest of it is kind of forgiven for you while we get your business up and going. So it's really a cost-effective way to start a business, and I don't know where else you can get access to basically a maker space as part of your rent. So this is the most cost effective place you're ever going to develop a business for drones, I can guarantee it. Tony and I, we are the company. We are Tracer Drone Technologies. It's just the two of us. And any time that you're with a small company of two people, there's some challenges there. You really only have two brains to solve problems. And I think what becomes interesting to us about being in this incubator is that when we come here, we're now associated with dozens of very smart people who specialize in UAV systems. And I think it makes us feel like we're part of a much bigger organization. We can be stumped on something where there's a problem that we are having a hard time finding a solution for. And being here and being around the other smart people that work here is really instrumental to us because as we talk to them, they have those um, light bulb moments that help us to solve some of those problems. As a drone centric company obviously you, you want to look to grow and we've been growing over the last few years and become expertise in that of the first responder niche. Growing outside of that where Warren comes into play is you always want a workforce that's educated. Having the educated students here that from day one they learn the very latest technology and the latest software and as they progress through their studies they're going to be exposed to new software and new drones. We as Tracer, we bring products to Warren and say, hey, you know, you guys might, might want to check out this. As Warren come to us and say, you might want to check out that. From a growth standpoint, that becomes invaluable because when we look to add to the workforce, we want a well-rounded a well student, a student that not only has their associate's degree, they have the technical capability to repair the drone, 
fault diagnosis, the software, fly the drone because they're not just 107 pilots, they're top cert pilots. So I can send that student to a company, a professional pilot at a cell tower or a critical piece of infrastructure because obviously they need to get their additional hours. Students come out of here with agricultural experience for mapping fields, for looking at uh, crop assessments and things like that. So again, as we're growing, we're going to be looking at different markets and which market makes the most sense. And for example, the ag market could be something that explodes. Okay, I need pilots that are experts in the ag market, but can diagnose the software and give that farmer the data he needs. I have my resource here, it's fantastic. Between the friendly and knowledgeable staff, incredible hands-on learning opportunities, and facilities that give students access to the best technology in the industry, Warren UAS is ahead of the game in drone education. The small community college in Washington, New Jersey creates an atmosphere of learning that is enjoyable and engaging for everyone interested in unmanned vehicles. Enrolling in Warren UAS will not only give students the opportunity to learn every leg of the drone industry, from flight operations to technology application and engineering to repair and maintenance, but it will also prepare them for a wide array of opportunities to apply their knowledge and skills across many different industries. This program truly does go above and beyond. Warren UAS. Warren UAS. Warren UAS. Warren UAS. Warren UAS. Warren UAS. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. To learn more about Warren Community College's Warren UAS program, go to warren.edu forward slash UAS or call 908-835-WCCC. That's 908-835-9222.